Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you are welcome. You're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you are also welcome. It's been a while, guys. I know, I know, but you know the gist. So, yep. As you already guessed from the name of this video, uh, today I'll be talking about um, the visa requirements if you want to come to Slovakia to study. I'll be talking about the visa requirements and uh, yeah, literally just the visa, uh, the requirement for visa, the steps you have to follow and all that. So before you continue guys, please and please and please do not forget to click this button down below, subscribe, that's what I mean, click the button and subscribe and also don't just subscribe, also turn on the notification so you get notified each time I post a video and you can also share with your friends, you can also like and also comment if you have anything you have to say or you have any question you want to ask, also comment in the section, in the comment section. So guys, like I said, I'll be talking about the visa requirements if you want to come study in Czech, in Slovakia. I'll be talking about the visa requirements and the steps you have to follow. I know each country is very varies, but hopefully the difference will not be that much. So I'll be talking for I'll be talking like for just general perspective. I'm not like talking about a specific country or uh, a specific. Um, yeah, just a specific country, but I'm talking about countries that are non-EU and uh, or non-Schengen, like third nationals, like if you are any country that needs visa while coming to, while or when, when they want to study in Slovakia. So I'm not like speaking a specific country, I'm just saying it in a general place. Now, I'll be, I have some list here, so I'll be looking at my phone to... Kind of explain to you what and what you have to do from here i'm talking about, let me talk about the visa in general if you want to apply for visa i would advise you first of all you can contact the embassy in your country they are or you send it out you send them an email or you call them on phone or and ask them what and what because each like i said before each country varies what this country need might be different from what this other country need so it's very so you can also you can call them or you send them an email that this is what you want to do okay you need uh, their requirements and all that they will actually answer so now they have types of visa for third country nationals but i'll be focusing more on study visa but i'll try to explain the other types of visa like they have this Schengen visa. This Schengen visa is a type C visa and it's valid for just 90 days. If you want to stay in Slovakia for just 90 days, you have to go for the Schengen visa. You don't have to go, uh, if you go for Schengen visa, you cannot stay in Slovakia more than 90 days. Once it's 90 days, you have to leave the country. That's Schengen. Then also you have national visa. This national visa, if you want to come to Czech Republic for the purpose of study, you, you, you shouldn't go for this national visa because this national visa are given to these people like it's the type D visa Schengen is a type C national visa is a type D if you are if the only time I would advise you to to go for this type of visa is number one if it is necessary for granting a resident in Slovakia or if you want to study the language or if you like you are under the country that have treaties like or they have i don't know how to explain it they have uh they say treaties with slovakia or it is for the benefit of slovakia like if you have this this uh because sometimes slovak slovakia they look for they they accept people that have this i would say if you can if you are beneficial let's say you are there is one job they don't have enough enough of uh they are short of this kind of people and you fall into that kind of category and they will just they would give you you can apply for that kind of visa and you'll be given i don't know if you guys understand my explanation but 
I hope you guys understand. So that is for the national visa. If you're coming to Czech Republic to just to study now or not the language, you don't need to apply for this visa. So there's another visa is by invitation. This one, if you want to invite somebody or um, if you want to do the unification with your family, this one it falls under that. Now, let me go to temporary residence of third country nationals. This is when, if you, this visa is given to some people, this temporary residence is given to some set of people. Number one is if you are, if you want to apply for the purpose of studies. Number two, you want to apply for the purpose of research and development. Three, you want to apply for the purpose of special activity, let's say sports, games or something like that. You want to apply for the purpose of employment. You want to apply for the purpose of acquiring higher education, like EU blue card, something like that. I don't know. Higher qualification, sorry. Higher qualification, EU blue card. These are the kind of people that can apply for the temporary residence or, or, or permit or I don't know something so these are the people that uh, the, the people I listed these are the people that should go and apply for the temporary residence so now I thought I said I'll be just be focusing on the purpose of study and the purpose of study is both the first degree second degree third degree that is the bachelor's master and, and master's and PhD student it does not matter if you want to you're coming for bachelor's master's anything it's applicable to all levels so these are the requirements first thing you have to you have to download the application form I will be putting the link in the description box you have to download the application form number two is you have to you have to submit two recent passport photograph and it should be 3 by 3.5 centimeter don't go and look don't go and uh, Go and when go and, don't go and submit passport that you took when you were like like five years ago. Maybe you saw one on that bed and you saw another one inside your wallet. Ah, this one is okay. No, please, the recent passport photograph that is what they need. Somebody actually got rejected because the international passport, which is recent, because person international passport like six months old, and this person had a scar, recent scar, like this that scar was really recent before the international passport and this person went to go and submit a uh, uh, passport photograph for before the person had the scar so they actually run some things I don't know and they rejected the person because they feel they said this person is is not the same the person in international passport is different from the photograph the person submitted that was the, just the reason for rejection so all these little things matters a lot it was when this guy actually had to follow up and told them, told them that he actually submitted a photograph that was like not recent. So and actually when he came, they saw this car, but they were like, so you should, you should, you should. All these things really matter. They really matter. So you should get a recent passport photograph, three by three point five centimeter. Another thing you have is your valid passport, international passport. And uh, another thing is the document proving the purpose of your stay. And in this case, since you are coming for studies, it should be confirmation of studies. Confirmation of studies. And another document is uh, document proving sufficient financial resources. I will be talking about the financial resources at the end of the video. So please stay tuned. So the uh, the doc or another document is financial uh, document proving financial like sufficient financial resources for your stay. Another document you need is your criminal record extract, criminal like police character something like that. And this police character must be super legalized. You already know the super legalized process in some of my videos. I was, when I was talking about um, Czech Republic. You have to take it to the Ministry of Education, down to the 
oh sorry since you are this is the criminal record you don't need to take it to the ministry of education it's not an educational document education document i don't know it has to just go through two parts which is the ministry of foreign affairs and finally to the embassy you don't need to take it to ministry of health health no there's no need and also confirmation of accommodation like where you'll be staying in slovakia you also have to provide proof of that place the contract now some of this your documents have to be translated the same the same thing as as in uh like czech republic this document needs to be translated like a criminal records it needs to be translated by official translators i'll be putting the link to the official translators in the description box they need to be tr uh, translated if your document is in czech or slovak there is no need but if it's not please you have to translate it uh, uh, using the official translator in slovakia and after that you also have to submit a health insurance you also have to submit a health, health insurance for the full duration of your stay this one they did not like specific you don't they have a specific health insurance you have to buy like it's specific. you know in czech republic there is one particular health health insurance company where you have to buy your health insurance but in slovakia you can buy from anywhere provided it meets their requirements and also uh after you've been granted this uh how would i say like i said some con it varies in some countries some countries you have to provide your medical records during the process of your of your in before you like if you want to submit your documents that's why i said you have to contact your embassy before i started this uh video like this whole requirement thing i said you have to like contact the embassy in your own spe in your specific country because each country is very uh, each country varies some countries you have to attach a medical uh, record some countries you don't it's not compulsory to submit your if for students it's not compulsory to submit accommodation contracts but some countries is uh, uh, compulsory but know that you have to have your accommodation contract your medical reports translated your medical report must be translated and your police character must be translated you know your study confirmation is coming from slovakia so there will be english version and there will be translated version so the english version will be for you and the check a slovak version will be for them and also the accommodation too is not coming it's coming from slovakia so that will also be tra translated or maybe they'll have two versions but these two things your medical report which is what you're doing in your country or your your police uh, character must be translated i hope you understand that so some some countries you don't need to submit your medical but during the time you are uh you are submitting your requirements why in other countries you must but my, that's why you have to go to your embassy website they are all their contacts are always there send them an email that tell them this is what you want and maybe within some days they will send you all their requirements and the steps you have to follow uh, this uh, resident permit is granted for maximum six years it's not like uh, it's not like Czech Republic where you have to renew your resident permit every year you don't have to renew it every year if you get to if you get to Slovakia they will give you a visa that you, you can you will take to Slovakia once you get to Slovakia you will have to apply for the card the the one the one you got from a country is just a visa to get inside so once you get to slovakia you must apply for the card before your visa expires so expire so if you apply for that card you'll now be given that resident permit maximum for six years so might they might give you depending on how the length of your study if you are studying for three years let's say you're doing study bachelors they might give you three years four years if you are studying for masters depending on what you are studying or the level the cost the length of your stay 
so you don't have to renew your visa every month or every year it's not like Czech Republic where each year you have to renew your visa no and in some countries where you are not uh, you're you are not like obliged obliged to, to submit your medical report once you are you want to apply to get your resident permit or your card you'll be asked to go to some certain hospital to go do medical reports because now you're already in the country you're already in the country and now you want to apply for a residence like the card normal card so before they can give you that card you have to go they would, they would write something to and give it to you to take some to the hospital their own hospital you can go do that test and bring it to them and you have to pay the fee so it depends hopefully your country is the one that is I don't know it's still same with me I don't know. but make sure know yourself that you are not suffering any ailments not that when you are in Slovakia and you are they are about they are about to give you the car now they say that you have some ailments in your body just know yourself that you are not sick then you are good to go now after your studies after your studies like you want you want to stay in in Slovakia after your studies you can apply and you'll be given like nine months to stay in Slovakia to look for job you'll be given nine months to stay in Slovakia if you got if you if you if you are lucky you got a job within that before that time nine months elapsed then you can stay you can you you can use your work uh, contract to go renew your visa if not you have to leave unfortunately even in the Czech Republic is like that you are given nine months to stay after your after you've completed your studies so that is all about the requirements for if you are coming to check uh, coming to Slovakia to study the first requirement is number one you have to download the application form and fill it fill it number two is you have to get a recent passport photograph 3 by 3.5 centimeter the third requirement is your international passport the next thing is your your purpose of stay document proving your purpose of stay in this case which is your confirmation of study another one or your either confirmation of study or your admission letter another document is your accommodation contract you have to bring your criminal record extract then if your country needs medical reports you have to also show it and your health insurance so those are the nine things you need if you want to study in so if you want to come to Slovakia to study and also not nine ten sorry not eight I don't know what am I saying you need also your proof of financial means now let me talk about the financial means each day you must have at least 56 euro in your account let's say uh, uh, you'll be staying here for three years you must for the first year of your stay you must have at least 56 euro per day I don't know that is how it is I'll be putting the link to this particular uh, proof of font in the description box so you go there and read it yourself to understand each day you must have 56 euro in your account that is their financial requirement there is no particular amount you must have like uh, let's say 3 million 4 million mm -mm. just make sure you have each day you have to calculate it though each day you must have 56 euro in your account they now multiply by the number for the first year because i'm not sure you can have it like that for the whole three years i don't know but make sure you have sufficient uh sufficient financial means you can also use sponsor they also your that sponsorship letter should be translated if your country or home country is the one sponsoring you if they give you that sponsorship letter, you should also translate it. 
So that is the financial means. Each day, you must have 56 euro in your account. That is what they need. So that is all. And also you have to pay the application fee. The visa fee. It is around, I don't know, 36 euro or 60 euro. I don't know, it's around that. I'll put in the money up somewhere. So that is that for the document you need if you want to come to Slovakia to study. It's not, it's not that complicated. Mind you, you're not just submitting this document and go, you'll be going home. You have to prepare for the interview, be interview. Some countries do not conduct interview. Some countries do conduct interview. That is why I said it at the beginning. Send an email to your embassy in your home country. So that is where you will know if your country needs interview, like if they do interview in your country or not. Even in Czech Republic, some countries don't do interview. Some countries don't do interview. Like some, like in India, they don't do. There is no interview for them. Some Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan. I don't know the Stan. Like this, uh, I don't know European. Some European countries. It's not like they are EU, but. They don't do like it's a Turkey. No, not a, like interview for Turkey. There's one of my friends from Turkey. He said he just submitted his document and the next time they called him, this was going to come and collect his visa. So some countries there is nothing like interview. Like this UAE, UAE also, some parts, I don't know, there, there is nothing like interview. But some other countries they do interview. So you have to, that's why I said. Each country have their own rules. You have to know if your country is conducting interview or not. But be prepared for anything. That is why you should also, first of all, before you even start, you want to start this journey, just send an email now to your embassy and ask them, this is what you want to study or you want to come to Slovakia to study. And you would, you would be very grateful if they give you the list of requirements they need. Or sometimes you can even go to your embassy website and you see what they need there. They always, some embassy, some websites are really easy to navigate. You will just see their requirements there. So, so, so. These are all, I've already, I've stated all the requirements. I'm putting the requirements again on the screen so you can see it. And if you have any question you want to ask about Slovakia, about the visa issue, Please put it down in the comment section. I will reply you as soon as I can. And please, guys, please, 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 before you go, I always say this. Do not forget to subscribe. You just click that button. Help me reach 1K this month. I know it's not. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But maybe it's possible. It's not possible. But please, guys, just help me click that button. Subscribe, like, share, turn on the notification. And see you guys in my next video. Bye.